All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and it is almost here. LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta are about to arrive on Global Dokkan. Uh, I do think these banners are worthy of summoning, no matter how big a whale you are, no matter what units you've pulled. Just the LR Super Saiyan 4s alone are definitely worth it on a banner of that quality with amazing top tier featured units on each banner. Vegeta's banner definitely is a lot better, but Goku's banner is also very good. So I just wanted to do kind of like another look uh, at how impressive the LR Super Saiyan 4s are. Now I have done repeated videos with the LR Super Saiyan 4s constantly throughout the last six months on my channel. So if you guys have watched like any of my content at all, you know how crazy the LR Super Saiyan 4s are. Even though, you know, LR Tech Broly is very likely better than them. Uh, I think LR Gohan and Goten are definitely better than them. Uh, and then LR Kale and Khalifa are also better than the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Despite all of that, I still think the LR Super Saiyan 4s are a must summon. Because their banners completely destroy Kale and Khalifa's, Broly's, and Gohan and Goten's. None of their banners are even close within the realm of being as good as the LR Super Saiyan 4 banners. The LR Super Saiyan 4 banners, I would argue, they are actually... I I'd say they're the best banners in Dokkan history besides the step-up summons. Like, like a lot of step-up summon banners are better than them. So, like, you know, the Christmas Global UI Goku banner, definitely... Ooh, so 3.74 million. Uh, this friend, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not rainbowed and that's the amount of damage he did turn one that is very very good considering he's not rainbowed or anything like that remember uh there is a difference between goku and vegeta uh vegeta starts out with his full defense goku starts out with his full attack right so you know you can like instantly see boom exactly how strong lr super saiyan 4 goku is so all right uh this is gonna be an interesting turn right here uh because we have LRB Pan's active skill. Now, one reason that LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is so stupidly busted is this right here. Uh, basically, any cluster whatsoever of EGL orbs or rainbow orbs and, you know, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is getting his 18 key super attack. It's the same thing for LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Any cluster of rainbow or red orbs and it is a wrap. He will flat out dominate. Oh! Uh... Tech Goku is going to get a counterattack. Now, one reason I think LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is a bit better than Vegeta. This is just, you know, kind of a, a, an odd reason. But, ultra, wow, 3.57. Ultra full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. His presence uh, really enhances Goku's team. Because you always have a number of amazing linking partners for Goku. 5.21. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's not a bad number right there. 3 million damage on this Goku. That is a very impressive turn right there. Uh, a pretty... <laughs> that That's pretty solid. That, that's, that's not bad by our boy LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, but on his team, you essentially have three partners that are insane for this Goku. Uh, Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who is... He is like... The best Dokkan unit that at this point has like almost completely gone under the radar. No one talks about this guy and he's so good. Like, I mean, we just saw 3.57 million was his attack set. Not a lot of Dokkan Fest exclusives can get that high. Uh, we also have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the old one, who you can run on uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's team. Goku basically gives 170% uh so, you know, HP and attack uh, on his leader skill, the Goku family category. And then he also gives 120% to Super AGL types. So, units like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Kale and Khalifa, Blue Gogeta, they all work on LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's team. I mean, <laughs> Kale and Khalifa, they're definitely a unit you can rock. Uh, they are the best defensive unit in the game, so that's a real thing you could do. Uh, and then also, of course, we have the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's best attack set is going to be with this guy on rotation. Uh, we'll probably finish up this event right here, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get that. Let's also take a look at Goku's active skill. Now, the, remember the LR Super Saiyan 4s were the ones that introduced active skills into the game. Uh, Global has had both Broly and LR Gohan and Goten on there for 
you know, going on two months now, but it was the LR Super Saiyan 4s uh, who introduced us into the game. Oh, this is unfortunate. We actually have a turn where we can't get his 18 key. That's very, very rare, but the way that he, uh, you know, played out right there was a bit annoying. Uh, we should still be able to finish off this Goku on this turn because of Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku. His, you know, support type passive is so, so strong. So let's see. Goku does nothing. Yeah. Even 120% is good enough for Vegeta. 1.74 million combined with Vegeta's defense, which is exceptional. And that's very, very good. Uh, Goku still getting to a 2.1 million attack stat, even on a 12 key super attack. So the Goku family category team is monstrous. Taking down Goku before he even goes into his enhanced, like, rage form, that's crazy. So, now, let me hop back into an event, and we'll get what should be Goku's best rotation. Uh, SCR Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then LRB Pan with her active skill. Alright guys, so here we are. This should be LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's best rotation. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's active skill. I'm a bit nervous, so I'm pretty sure this is actually probably going to finish Blue Goku off. Maybe not. Maybe I'm overestimating it a little bit. But one reason why I consider the LR Super Saiyan 4s to be in such rarefied air is how ridiculously powerful their active skill is. You only have to get to four turns to use it. Supremely powerful. Uh, and especially with B-Pan's... Oh, dude. Especially with B-Pan's active skill. If that crits... I think uh, Blue Goku gets finished off right there. Because I have seen active skills completely one-shot enemies before. Um, Alright, so again, this should be Super LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's best rotation right here. Uh, we'll see what number he is capable of reaching. Again, very easy for him to get a uh, full 24 key super attack. So let's see what LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is capable of doing. Now, I'm quite certain, by the way, that LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is able to hit slightly harder than Goku maxed out. So also keep that in mind. Uh, let's see what Super Saiyan 4 Goku is able to do. And he gets up to 6.19 million. Very, very good. Sit down, Blue Goku. Uh, there we go. That's... Uh... <laughs> so, between his active skill and his you know 18 key super attack right there, the amount of damage that LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku did on that turn is like remarkable he is incredibly powerful all right guys so this right here this is saiyan's peak of power super saiyan 4 goku again with his arrival at the four-year anniversary on gp i did consider him the best unit in the game until lr kalen khalifa took his throne from him uh since i think lr gohan and goten have also moved ahead of goku i, I need to see I, I need to see more of tech broly before i truly consider him better because uh, well, i'll get to that later on he's coming to jp soon i'll be able to get a proper evaluation of him but you know lr tech broly is definitely somewhere in the mix with the lr super saiyan 4s i believe uh so goku's leader skill is the goku family category key 3 and 170 percent to hp and attack he gives 130 percent to defense and then he gives super agl 3 key 120 percent to stats so one reason that the super saiyan 4s are so incredible is their teams get buffed literally every single update every update there's either a goku family unit or a vegeta family unit like without fail like if i think about uh 2019 so far every single like you know sort of like big celebration right so if we take like the constant three week time frame uh like you know for, so like the namek celebration on gp right you know uh, that was uh, Buhan's EZA, Transforming Goku, LR Full Power Frieza, the two other Frieza's. Like, that's a whole big group of units, right? And, like, every single set of units that have come out this year have had one of those two uh, family category units in it. So, that's the thing. Like, if you're free to play and you get either Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Vegeta, like, your team is always going to be relevant. Every update, there's going to be new, exciting, strong units that are going to buff the category. And... These categories are so massive. You know, every Goku, Gohan, Bardock, Goten unit, you know, every Vegeta and Trunks, like, it's just a massive roster of characters that you're able to do. So that's one reason why these LRs are so good. That's also another reason why Gohan and Goten are so good, because they have the Goku family category as their secondary part of their leader skill. Now, Goku's 
Uh, the, the one thing about the LR Super Saiyan 4s I do need to address is that because they're so old, they were made around the time of Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So sometime around uh, June or May of 2018 is when they were made and they didn't come out for many, many months later. Their animations are certainly behind the times, right? So uh, Goku's 12 key super attack is a meteor smash, which massively raises defense for one turn and does colossal damage. And then his 18 key is a Kamehameha, which massively raises attack and defense for one turn and does mega colossal damage. Now, when the Super Saiyan Force gets that massively raised defense for one turn, basically they can't be hurt after that. Even in like Super Battle Road, they completely stonewall the enemy. Now, you know, a, 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 a type neutral or a type advantage over one of the Super Saiyan Force super attacks certainly could hurt them. But for the most part, they dominate even category Super Battle Road. They are incredibly powerful. Now, Goku's passive, I'll be the victor, gives him 80% attack and 20% defense at the... Oh, okay, wait, wait. So, uh, here, let me reword this. So, he gets 80% attack at the start of fight, and it's like that the whole time. Then he gets 20% defense at the start of each turn, up to a maximum of 80%. So, after four times Goku is on rotation, his defense will be maxed out at 80%. Then he gets two additional key per rainbow and AGL key sphere obtained. So Goku gets four key from an AGL sphere and three key from a rainbow sphere. Those two together make it so that he almost always gets his 18 key super attack. Then he also has a medium chance uh, of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. I believe that is a 25% chance uh, for... No, it's a 30% chance for Goku to counter attack. Now... Here's the thing, a lot of people will meme that, oh, you know, you, you never see it happen, but I, I don't know, I, especially with the LR Super Saiyan 4s, I find myself using them so often and putting them in harm's way so often that it does actually seem, they counter an awful lot for me. I've had several runs on the Legendary Goku event where uh, both Super Saiyan 4s have gotten counters off that have been very, very helpful. Uh, then, of course, Goku was, well, I, I mean, Goku and Vegeta... Technically, they're the first units to come out with active skill. Even though we got LRB Pan in the data first, she didn't technically release until after the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, so you could say Goku is the de facto first unit with active skill in the game. Uh, his active skill is the 10 times Kamehameha, which massively raises attack for that just that attack and does ultimate damage to the enemy, and it can be activated from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only. So the reason the Super Saiyan 4's active skill is so much better than, say, uh, I, I would even say Kid Goku's or even better than LR Gohan and Goten's uh, is because of the fact that theirs has no restriction other than being the fourth turn, which you pretty much get everywhere. Super Battle World fights, you know, usually about turn four is where they wrap up. So many, many times I've had LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Vegeta finish the fight off with their active skills. It, for Super Battle Road, it's just absolutely crazy to have them get that, you know, basically cheap shot at the start of turn. Um, I should mention that the ultimate damage multiplier is 550%. The way it works out, the uh, Super Saiyan Force active skills hit relative to an 18 key super attack from them. So, you, realistically, it's essentially like you're getting two 18 key super attacks in that turn. Uh, and then if you manage to get an additional, you know, basically you can look at it as 18 key super attack, 18 key super attack, and then a 12 key super attack. So Super Saiyan 4s are incredibly powerful. Then you could conceivably also get a counter on that turn. So you could have just an insane turn of, especially for LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, it would be crazy the damage he could put up there because he raises attack on his 12 key super attack. So, you know, Vegeta would, like, massively raise his attack twice, you could say. And then if he had his counter after that, he would do just insane damage on a counter. So, you know, both Goku and Vegeta are very, very good. Uh, Goku's links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepared for Battle, Kamehameha, GT, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So, amazing links. The only negative about the Super Saiyan 4s is they lose shocking speed and it gets replaced with Legendary Power. Now, me per they don't. That large Super Saiyan Force don't need the extra key, but teams with them on it would certainly work better. If like Vegeta lost, I believe Vegeta has Saiyan Pride, and if Goku lost Kamehameha, I would much rather they lose those links 
to get shocking speed than have just that little bit of extra attacking power, right? Now, Saiyan Pride, 15% attack is, of course, a lot better than plus 2,500 attack, right? That's another reason I think that Vegeta, you know, if you build Vegeta all the way up, he is capable of hitting harder than LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, just shocking, like, if these units had shocking speed along with prepare for battle, like, oh, they would be, like, borderline perfect outside of their super attack animations. Uh, Goku has the normal multipliers we see from summonable LRs. 12 key, 150%, 24 key, 200%. Uh, and then he is on three category teams. Uh, he is on, of course, the Goku family team. Uh, definitely his best team. He's also on the pure Saiyan team, which is going to become the best team in the game very shortly on JP, thanks to his presence. LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, LR Kalen Khalifa, and LR Tech Broly. That will be the best team in the game, I think, for sure. Uh, and then he is also on the Shadow Dragon team, uh, which he has very much buffed. Both the LRs made this team very strong. This team is still incredibly limited. We need a lot of the Shadow Dragons to be better. We could really use like a Super Saiyan Goten card, a Super Saiyan Gohan card. That could be like maybe like a defensive unit. One could be a support type unit. There's definitely buffs that need to be had to that team. Eventually we will get them, but right now, it, it, the team is crazy with the Super Saiyan 4s on it. I don't know where it ranks now, but I know once they came out, I believe the Shadow Dragon team was the third hardest hitting team in the game. Obviously, that would be well outdated now because that was back in January, but it, like the, just the Super Saiyan 4s on the team alone vaulted that team into very, very high damage territory. So there you go, guys. There's LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, an amazing unit. I do not recommend skipping whatsoever. I would say I think the LR Super Saiyan 4s are close enough that you can pick which one to go for based upon, uh, like, your box. Like, which one do you have a better category team for? Or who do you need more from a banner? I, I honestly don't think, like, Goku is a little better, but it's close enough that I don't really think it matters too much. So, like, again, it's just, like, if you need certain units from Goku's banner over Vegeta's banner, then sure, go for Goku. But, you know, if you have a way better, you know, Vegeta family team, then go for Vegeta. Like, it, it's just personal preference, really. Both of them are incredible. Uh, the one thing, though, I will say is that Vegeta's banner is definitely far better than Goku's. Because uh, Vegeta's banner has super rare units like Turles, Android 17, and Evolution Blue Vegeta. So, uh, his banner becomes very, very valuable. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you're summoning for. Uh, I'll do a video on Vegeta next. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.